So a lot of major games are coming out this year, and the, one of the first ones that are going to be coming out um, in about a few weeks is Pokemon Legends Arceus. So a new 13 minute trailer just dropped, and I still have like a lot of questions about this game because I still don't know what's going to be happening in it. So I want to break it down and try to check out what's happening. So let's get into it. I also don't know why. <laughs> I'm wearing this mask because this is for my, uh, this is a special Sub-Zero one, so I also wanted to show this off. How does it look? Does it look great? This is, it's also made out of a special material. I'm really liking it a lot. Anyway, let's start the video. Okay. I'm just looking at, oh. Oh, uh, okay, so you can do somewhat use them like the HMs. That's a, that's interesting. Because you never really see the Pokemon do the move, you just see the action and that's it, or just see them on the screen with a uh, really fast paced image. Encountering aggressive wild Pokemon, you have to be careful. These Pokemon are not think twice about attacking you. Oh my gosh, okay, wow, I need to see that again. Because <laughs> that, that's probably the one big trait that's really selling me for this game, is um, that Pokemon could finally attack you. And this one just in particular just looked crazy. What's weird is that I don't see a health bar for this, so I'm guessing you either just take three hits or you, oh, and you're done, or it's one and done. I'm not even sure, because was there a health bar anywhere? I don't see it. Careful. I guess not. Oh, so you'll lose items if, 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 when you're knocked out. That's so crazy. Oh my gosh. Wow. I gotta be careful. The vastness of the Hisui region is daunting to explore on foot. Hmm. Luckily, throughout your adventure, you will encounter a number of special Pokemon that will help you get to where you need to go with grace and speed. Weird Ear helps you navigate on land faster. Okay, I'm that. This is interesting because I'm liking that you can just switch between Pokemon for both flight and the uh, for on the ground. So I'm I'm glad they have. Wait, what was his name? Rideier. And then you can switch to Braviary. I'm also curious if you can also switch the other Pokemon because I thought I also saw other Pokemon you can ride as well, but I'm guessing. Um, you might have to either catch him or something. But I'm liking. I'm, I'm glad they added a special traversal capabilities because that was also something that was fun for when I played. What was it? I think just for any other game, just for the movement, just to um, just to keep you moving and not just walking because walking does get tiring after a while. But um, here they actually keep up the pace and make him way more traversal. Such as oh. the clothier, the craft works, and the trading post, where you can trade Pokemon with other players. Okay, so that's the. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting how they made it into a kiosk. It's funny, and I and it's it's got even got a Togepi right there. I want that banner. You can receive a variety of different missions and requests from the inhabitants of Hisu. Requests are small tasks that you do to help the residents of Hisui. So I'm guessing it's going to be, let's see, so it's a bunch of catching, let's see. Or also, hold up, I also saw something else, I thought I saw... Okay, so they are bringing back the XP candy from... From Sword and Shield. I'm not much of, I well, I like the XP candy, I, because I find it to be one a great feature, because it's a really easy way to just level up your Pokemon now. And I'm glad that they brought that back, because, um... Well, I do, um, love to grind sometimes, but the, the leveling, it can be boring after a while, and I do, and glad they have this, especially for new people who just want to level up their Pokemon, cr like, crazy. It's a really good item to bring back. Requests are small tasks. Especially for uh, the people who did the raid battles, because for me, when I did the raid battles, that's what I was just aiming for. I would just get that, get that, get that, and then boom, level 100. The well, missions will advance the main sword. 
Once you receive a mission or oh, wait, wait, let me hear that again. The main story. Okay, so there are certain missions Once for the main story. What? Okay, <laughs> they got a phone. Okay, so they have phones in this time period. I mean, alright. I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna skim through it just to save more time, so let me see here. Oh, it doesn't seem that these missions are gonna be long, you're just gonna be catching and probably battling some of them. So, and they're, and they're, they're prop, they're short, so it's gonna be good just to just switch off all, over and over playing more of these missions. I'm just gonna skip more through. Alright, here's battles. This is also another thing that was great about Sword and Shield was you didn't have to also interact with every Pokemon or in the grass at all. You can just go up to them and attack them whether you want to or not. And I'm glad that they did this as well because I do just having the random battles out of nowhere just felt really repetitive after a while, especially for a lot of RPGs. Um, especially that's also another thing that was great for when I was playing Dragon Quest XI was you, the enemies were just in the open. You didn't have to just wait for one out of nowhere to attack you. That'll yeah, Selectabuzz. I I like to acknowledge something. Electabuzz is my favorite. I just want y'all to know that. Just because of its final form. Strong style. Also, how is this a little... How's this Electabuzz at uh, level 50 and yet no Oh wait, never mind, he had a trade to get that evolution. Wait, wait. Huh. So the Styles is a new battle mechanic. It did seem interesting for how how they're adding uh, the boosts to certain aspects of the Pokemon. Okay, so there's Agile, Strong. Oh. So it's essentially um, doing doing a Giga Impact or Hyper Beam, but with one of your moves and just amplifying it. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I might do. <laughs> yeah, I'm already gonna know. I'm just gonna be using the heck out of that just because I want to just end the battle quick, just crazily, <laughs> insanely. Just giving a bit more to see if there's anything else. Amazing how they show this, and the, and the first thing are just the different color hats. <laughs> okay, now that is interesting. I love the storm hats. That's. I'm really gonna hold. I'm gonna try and make mine to just look like Kung Lao. You can also customize your trainer's hairstyle, oh. hair color, and eyebrow color at the hairdresser. Hmm. The Hisui region can be dangerous. That doesn't mean you can't look your best. You're, they're not wrong. I want to look my best when I'm getting mauled by a Pokemon. Okay, the mobile Pokemon. 
Wait, wait, noble Pokemon. Oh, noble, not mobile. I, I skipped it too fast to look. During your adventure, you will have to face off against special Pokemon called noble Pokemon. Okay. A strange phenomenon is causing the nobles to become frenzied. Oh. This is interesting. Wait, hold up. Okay, yeah, my computer was just dying. Continuing. Clevor. Huh. Oh, so this is a full on boss fight. Okay. Is this Oh wow. Balance blowing the bombs with dodging attacks to calm the noble Pokemon. Are they gonna throw a Pokemon in some in at some point? Okay, there we go. Alright, so you're I guess you're lowering it and then going to uh, battle it just just to weaken it. I get that. Wait, that's it? Huh, the animated part. Oh, I love that animation. The animation looks so good here. Hmm. Alright, so... I'm liking how this is looking. I really do. Cause because I'm, I, I, for, for the whole thing, thing, I was trying to avoid comparing it to Breath of the Wild, because I, I did not want to do that at all. It's, it just, it just seemed very annoying, and I wanted to avoid that as much as possible, and I think I did a good job with that, but, um, yeah, so, I will say, one of the, the two things that are really getting me, um, really attracted me to this game are the Pokemon that are attacking you, which is a big one. And then the noble Pokemon. Because I'm guessing it is going to be annoying to throw the bombs after a while, so I'm guessing there's going to be something else you're going to get later on for these types of noble fights. Because I'm guessing the nobles are going to be a big role for the game's story in some way. So it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to play out for the story, but... Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this game. This game, I think this is going to be a good start in 2022 with Legends Arceus. So, I'm really curious to see how this goes. But, um, anywho, thank you all for watching. Um, be sure to check out more content. I do got a lot more stuff I'm working on. So, stay tuned in for the next one. And GG's, y'all.